Sergeant Hope. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Health. All members and staff, please turn on your video and please place all electronic devices to silence. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. Good morning, everybody. I am Mark Levine, Chair of the City Council's Committee on Health, and I'd like to acknowledge my fellow Health Committee members who are with us this morning, including Council Member Andy Cohen, Council Member Bob Holden, Council Member Alika Ampri Samuel, Council Member Keith Powers, and I believe that Council Member Inez Barron as well, although, uh, oh, and there she is. Excellent. Thank you all so much for joining us today as we will be voting on pre considered proposed introduction number 1961 2020, whose lead sponsor is Councilmember Richie Torres. This is a local law in relation to public reporting on contact tracing. New York City's contact tracing program is by far the largest and most complicated undertaking the city government has had to manage in this crisis. It is also incredibly high stakes. There simply is no safe reopening without this public health infrastructure in place. Contact tracing only works if the public buys in, if the public trusts this program and is willing to participate. That's why it is critical that we have full transparency and reporting throughout this process. That's exactly what pre-considered intro 1961 would do. Specifically, it will require reporting on the number of employees and languages and zip codes of employees in the contact tracing program. The number of people identified by the program who have tested positive for currently having COVID-19 and the contacts of such people. Disaggregated by zip code, race, ethnicity, gender, age range, COVID-19 symptoms, whether such persons have been referred to wraparound services, occupational setting, and comorbidities. And this reporting will be required on a daily basis. So I strongly encourage my colleagues to vote in favor of this bill. Thanks again to Councilmember Torres for introducing it. And thank you all again for being here with us today. And uh, I believe now I can, com can cue committee counsel Billy Martin to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on health. Pre-considered introduction, council member Levine. I vote aye. Baron. Cohen. Uh, I vote aye. Council member Barron. Why don't you go through the roll, Billy, and we'll come back to Council Member Barron as soon as you. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. Holden. I vote aye. Powers. Aye. Baron. And we, we may have a bad connection with, with, with Council Member Barron, but in the meantime, I see we've been joined by Council Member Dr. Matthew Eugene. Hear. We can hear you now. I can't hear. But we can hear you. But she can't hear us telling her that we can hear her. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm texting. I'm texting right now. I can't hear. I don't have any audio. Um, Billy, perhaps you'll take the vote from Council Member Eugene while we try sure. and connect to Council Member Barron. Council Member Eugene, pre-considered introduction.
This is the Chief Sergeant at Arms. Councilman Eugene does not have audio as well. We're trying to rectify the situation. Okay, hello again, everybody. For those of you who are here for the Immigration Committee, that will be starting momentarily. We just need to wrap up the vote in the Health Committee. And I wanna check if we have Dr. Matthew Eugene on and whether he's able to hear us. You are able to hear us. Can you give us a sign? Can you give us a thumbs up, Dr. Eugene? We know we have audio problems. Seems we've lost Dr. Eugene. Uh, Dr. Eugene, can you give us a thumbs up or a wave if you can hear me? Okay, it seems we have no audio with Dr. Eugene, unfortunately. And we are going to have to wrap up shortly to move on to the immigration committee. One more try, Dr. Eugene, can you hear me? If so, can you please raise your hand? Okay, it seems like we're having technical problems with Zoom this morning. So Sergeant, I'm gonna pass it back to you. All right, so we are ready to resume Again, for those watching on the live stream, we are having technical issues. Uh, committee clerk, you could take it over. Council member Eugene. Uh -huh. Dr. Eugene is signaling a yes vote by raising his hand. Thank you, Dr. Eugene. Acknowledged. Vote now on preconceived introduction. And Excellent, thank you. And I misspoke before. Next up, we have a vote uh, in the Fire and Emergency Services Committee uh, led by Chair Varelli. And so I think we're now going to wrap up the Health Committee and uh, I'll pass it back to you, Sergeant, to um, bring in Chair Varelli for our next committee. Thank you all for joining us. One and, moment, Chair Levine. Uh, committee Clerk Martin. Just, just for the record, the uh, the vote now on preconceived in introduction on public reporting on contact tracing for COVID-19 is now six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item is adopted by the committee. 